Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my makeup inventory series. Today it's going to be uh, powders, blush, bronzers, and highlighters, and I have a couple face palettes too. So um, let's just get into it. There may be a declutter, there may be, may not be one, so I don't know. So, um, Let's just go with, um, this all my, um, loose powder. I got this, um, who makes this? Um, Innisfree. Innisfree did a collab with Disney, and they had a bunch of different little character, um, powders. I got Buzz Lightyear. Then from Wet n Wild, this is the B is for Banana. Big Bird Loose Setting Powder, the Banana Powder. Then I have this one from Innisfree too. Uh, I can't tell because all the writing is really small and a lot of it's in Korean. So this is the emoji. Um, but yeah, it is from Innisfree. Innisfree No Seba Mineral Powder Emoji. I got the crying emoji. <laughs> I it was cute. I'm glad um, I got this. I can't remember which website it's from, but um, on their packaging, they put the label of what it is because, you know, the rest of the packaging is in, like, Korean, so I'm, I'm glad that was on there. Then I have uh, Belle Pierre HD Finishing Powder. This is the translucent powder. Then I have the e.l.f. HD powder, this is in soft luminescence, I don't know if you guys can tell. Then I have the Flower Miracle Matte uh, translucent powder, I just picked this up not too long ago from Marshalls, it's really good, if you, if you find it, pick it up, it's really good, I like it, so. Uh, this is the KVD. Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder and Translucent. I think I have two of these. Yes. One is small, one is large. This is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I got this one, and then I got the a little baby size. Then I got the NYX, uh, what is this? Uh, something Halo, stupid stickers on top of it. Uh, finishing powder in the shade Mermazing. I don't know, it's... You can see it in the light, it's like a... That's like a greenish cast, so looks fun. <laughs> then I have the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I like this, so. Then I have, sorry, there's so much dust. <laughs> Not that I don't use it, it just, I, you know, it's dusty. It is what it is. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter from Fenty Beauty. And then I have, I just picked this one up today. This is the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. You get this at Dollar General, that's their brand of makeup. So I'm really excited to try it because the last few times I've went to see if they were in stock, they were always out of stock with my shades. So. I just so happened to go there today and they were in stock, so I grabbed it. Now I'm moving on to my pressed powders. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination in the shade Radiant Translucent. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything, but there it is. Then the Fenty Beauty. Uh, blotting powder in Universal. It's just white. The 
in the Balm Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. This one's Formula Rosé All Day Set and Glow in Brightening Rose. Then I have the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding uh, Brightening Face Powder. This is the Candy Johnson collab from like a million years ago. <laughs> I actually got this from a friend. She was decluttering. This was sent to me a while ago by Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder in the shade 01. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything because it's one of those... It's weird. You have to twist this in order to get powder up. I'm not sure. Then from AOA Studios, Perfect uh, Finishing Pressed Powder in Porcelain. Then I have the e.l.f. Matte Blotting Powder. This was like a free gift from e.l.f. Then I have from Misami Cosmetics, I have the Invin Invisible Dusting Powder from the Agent Carter uh, collection. My friend decluttered this to me. I don't know if you can see the just a white powder. And my last powder is the Basami Cosmetics Lucy's Face Powder from the I Love Lucy collection. It's the same dusting powder as the Agent Carter. Okay, so I think I am going to pass on this uh, e.l.f. blotting powder and the NYX um, Halo finishing powder because it kind of scares me because I kind of overdo it with powder sometimes and I don't want to look like I'm sickly or something. So I'm going to pass these two on. Okay, now I'm going to move on to blush because that's what was right next to me. So. Um, my friend decluttered this uh, Tarte Pinup Girl Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush Palette to me. It, I know it's probably really old, but I'm going to keep it anyway because it's so pretty. Those are the shades there. Uh, breathless, Embraced, Whimsy, Bashful, and Irreplaceable. Then I have, um, my friend decluttered a bunch of singles to me, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping them, because I have a lot of these colors in my collection already, and I don't need single pots of colors. Um, this one is called Secret Admirer and I don't even remember what uh, cosmetic company she said these are from. So <laughs> Oh, that's atrocious. <laughs> No. Pinky Pinky. Mm. Honeymoon. That might be pretty. 
Yeah, I kind of like that one. That can stay. This one is First Love. That's way too light. Probably chalky and hideous. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And let's see, head over heels. I don't like that either. Ew, not underneath my nail. Let's see, is there any more in here? Is this a, is this an eyeshadow or a blush? Say it's blush. What is this? Okay. Okay. Then I have this one wild let's play together complexion trio. Two blushes and an illuminator. So from Wet n Wild. Uh, the blush is does it say what the color is? No. Anyway, that's the highlighter and these two are the blushes. Those are cute. Then I have this Handayan blusher stick in the shade 02. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's pretty. Um, I might try that. My friend gave me that. This is the Too Faced Love Flush blush in Justify My Love. That's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Then I have Lottie London Blush Crush in the shade Nick. I didn't even open this yet. Then I got another one of the blush crushes. This one is Harry. So I'm going to guess they're like from their named after boy bands because I think it's Harry Styles. I don't know. This is from um, Amuse Cosmetics. This is called Tangy. And this one is Dusty Rose. This one, they don't even make anymore. This is Essence Mosaic Blush in the Berry Connection. Um, I'm keeping this one because it's sentimental to me because my friend's kids uh, picked this blush out for me, so. This is Becca um, Mineral Blush in the shade Flower Child. This is... Uh, The Evil Queen, this is called Jealous. Um, this was like from Walgreens when they had like, it was probably during Halloween. Um, I actually got this off of a girl on Mercari, so yeah. Then I have Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to uh, Cheek, Cheek, Swish and Glow Blusher in the shape Pillow Talk. This is one of those ones that were controversial because it looks like a nipple. So, see, <laughs> I don't care, it's pretty. Then I have the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Plumagranite.
Then I have Anastasia and Beverly Hills, Blush Trio, and Pool Party. Blank Pageant Cash. So I don't know which ones those are. Those are the names. Then I have the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach uh, blush. The Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton in the shade Tropic Hues. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in, in, in the shade Incandescent Electra. Then I have a blush from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade We're Going Shopping. And my last blush, yeah, my last blush is this Pat McGrath, Pat, I can never say her name, Pat McGrath Labs um, and Breverton. Uh, this is the Blushing Delights palette. That's so pretty. I just love it. It looks like they look like little pillows. <laughs> Okay, so far the only things I'm passing on are the single blushes. I mean, I was, I'm very happy that she sent them to me and shared them with me, but I haven't touched them, and they're just not colors I'm attracted to. So, thank you, Lori, for sending them, but they need to find a new home. <laughs> Okay, let's get into bronzers now. From Kylie Jenner, or Kylie Cosmetics, I have the bronzer in Toasty. No milk, you can't get up here, I'm sorry. I know, you want to spend time with me. My cat milkshake. He's trying to get up on the chair, and it's like, you have all this stuff on the chair, Mom. How can I get up there? Because you can't. Then I have Khaki. Then I have the Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. Then I have the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. The uh, Wet n Wild uh, Best Buddies Let's Play Together Complexion Trio. There's a uh, two bronzers and a highlighter in there. Then I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Uh, I don't know the shade. My friend declared this to me. Then I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Then I have this Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. I had to read bronzers, so that was all of those. Let's move on to face palettes. Well, I consider a face palette. It has like two different things in them. Like it's not just a blush or not just a bronzer. It's like a blush and a bronzer or whatever. This is the Kat Von D Crush on Blush. It's a highlighter and a blush.
so pretty. Then I have the Glam Light S'mores Highlighter and Contour Palette. Becca and Chloe, Becca, Chloe, and Malika um, face palette. Then I have the Nomad Sydney Bathers Kiss of Sun palette. My friend Stephanie sent that to me. Then I have the Pretty Vulgar Nesting uh, Bee Face Face Palette. I love this thing. It's my favorite. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, while I was getting my other two things that I've forgotten to grab, I forgot that I didn't mention these. This is the Basami Cosmetics uh, Translucent Powder and the Brightening Vanilla Powder. Okay, back to blushes. No, back to face palettes. I have these um, e.l.f. Bite Size Duos. This one is Pomegranate, White Peach, Watermelon, Cantaloupe, and Spiced Apple. Then I have the Profusion Mean Girls You Glow Glen Cocoa Candy Gram 1. Then I have the Little Rock Beauty and the Beast uh, face palette. Bunch of blush and then a highlighter. It's one of my favorites. Whoa, okay, camera. <laughs> that was weird. There we go. Then I have this Ofra. Mini Mix Palette, good to go. I think I got this in my last box of charms, if I'm not mistaken. Then I got um, this BH Cosmetics Cotton Candy Champagne Blush uh, Blush Lighter Palette. Oh, it smells really good. That's so pretty. Oh no, it's not Beach Cosmetics, it's Beauty Bakery. <laughs> Beauty Bakery. Oh, no, I'm going to declutter this, uh, this little box here. I don't need that big old bulky packaging. Okay, so the last thing here is highlighters. I have two from Makeup Monsters, which is uh, before uh, they rebranded to Menagerie Cosmetics. That was the original name. This is called Abominable. I got these off of Mercari a while ago. <laughs> this one is Deadly Darling. I don't know where to put all 
all this stuff out of room. I have from Rare Beauty the uh, Liquid Luminizer, Luminizer in the shade Flaunt. I'm not even sure where I got this, to be honest. Unless Riri sent me that. I'm, I don't remember. This is this uh, ColourPop Light Sticks. This one is in the shade Earth. It's pretty. My friend Stephanie sent me that. This is the Kate the Cat Von D Beauty Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in the shade Gravitron. I have two from Jeffree Star. I might have a couple more, but this is a Supreme Frost in the shade Hypothermia. And Wet Dream. Then I have two from Lunar Beauty. These are the Moon Prism Powder Highlighter and pow Powder in the shade Jupiter, and the other one is Mercury. I think the packaging is stunning. It looks like Sailor Moon's uh, crystal. And this is Mercury. This is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. Then I have from Ofra the uh, highlighter in Star Star yeah, board, Star Island. <laughs> I have the Becca Skin Perfector and Prosecco Pop. I think my friend Lainey decluttered these to me. Someone did. I think it was Lainey. Then I have Fenty Beauty, Kilowatt, this is the duo, Mean Money and Hustle Up Baby. Then I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Dreamsicle. I like that it's different. It's the white compact. It went somewhere. Really <laughs> cool. I like that. Then I have the Passport to Glow Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Quartz. These were limited edition because they have an, I think they have an imprint in them. Let me see if I'm right. Yep. This one is Korea. And I have two from, whoops, I have two from Kylie. This one is Ice Me Out. And this one is Queen Drip.
This one is uh, Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. It's so pretty. Then I have an Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. That's like their popular one. Anyway, <clears throat> I have the Hourglass Ambient uh, Strobe Lighting Powder in Brilliant Strobe Light. From Odin's Eye, I have the Norns. I'm not sure. From Ofra, I have the Pillow Talk highlighter. From Fenty Beauty, I have the Kilowatt Foil uh, Duo in 7 Day Weekend and Poolside. From Becca, I have the Prismatic Amethyst. From Too Faced, I have the Candlelit Glow in Rosy Glow. From Fenty, I have the Kilowatt Highlighting Duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. From Fenty Beauty, I have the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. I have two um, singles. One is from Pretty's For Your Face, and the other one is from, uh, let's see. Touch of Glam Beauty. This one is Pocket Full of Roses. And this one is from Pretty Through Face. Peace, Love, and Makeup. From Natasha Denona, I have the Diamond and Glow Blush and Highlighting Powder. From Becca, I have the Volcano Goddess Gold Lava. It's so pretty. From Ofra, I have the Nikki Tutorials collab. Okay, I have a few from Pretty's For Your Face. I'm not going to take these out because they will bust, so... Um, 
This one is from Seate London. This one is in the shade Moon Dust. I am going to let that one go. Let's see. This one is from Praise Roof. I think the rest of these are from Praise Roof Face. This one is Pumpkin Spice. Mad Max. Uh, candy, candy apple. The peach pit. Oh, these kids. Hunting things. And I'm really nervous about this blue one. She's our friend and she's crazy. Okay. Now you have this Funko Villains uh, Highlighter Palette. This one's Ursula. And I have the Lime Crime Highlight Mermaids palette. And I have the Morphe Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise highlighter palette. I have the Zueva Caramel Melange Highlighter Palette and Caramel Mer Car I said Caramel Melange. I must have. Then I have the Game of Thrones Mother of Dragons. Highlight palette, the Urban Decay. I also have the matching palette, but <laughs> I forgot to take it out because it was in my bookshelf. Open you again. Um, hold please. Okay, I finally got it open. Then I have the Ellie Splash Golden Gatsby Old Money Highlighter Palette. I like the little lady on there. Then I have the Bomb the Luminizer Squad. It has all four of the Luminizer Sisters. Then I have two from Cody Airspun. These are the loose highlighters. Uh, this is Snow Much Ice. And Pink Me Up. I don't know if you can tell. I found those at Dollar Tree actually. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. This thing is so old, uh, uh, but I don't care. And then the last thing I have is the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighter Palette, the Cavity Skin Frost. Yeah, okay.
I got this in a mystery box, so. Those are all really pretty, actually. I think I did pretty well. I mean, I honestly didn't think I'd declare anything at all, so declaring something was surprising to me. So I decluttered the e.l.f. Uh, matte blurring powder, the NYX uh, uh, finishing powder in Mermazing, and one, two, three, four blushes. And this, um, I think it's a highlighter, um, Moonlight it's called. So, not bad. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. Um, I should be doing my uh, eyeshadow singles soon. Yeah. And my sticks, my eyeshadow sticks that I have. So. Anyway, that should be the next video, I think. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you like videos like these. Subscribe if you have not. We'd love for you to join the fam. And click that bell if you'd like more notifications from me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.